What I'm going to be showing you today is how to show your answer not as a remainder, but as a decimal. Okay, so as you can see here, I've just finished the question 729 divided by 6. The answer was 121 remainder 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this remainder into a decimal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the remainder 3 and instead I'm going to put decimal point, decimal point. Okay, I'm going to extend my bus stop. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a zero down. Now this is the same no matter what question you do. A zero always, always, always goes down. So that's something that you have to remain, remember. If you remembered, I had remainder three. Instead of putting remainder three though, I'm going to put that three over here instead and add it to the zero. Now this now makes the zero 30. And then all I do is, how many sixes in 30? 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. 5. And I have no remainders left, so now I've finished the question. So 729 divided by 6 is the same as 121.5. Let's take a look at a harder example now. So in this example, I have 326 divided by 7. The answer was 46 remainder 4. So I get rid of the remainder 4. And instead, I put decimal point, decimal point, and I draw a zero. Then the remainder 4 that we had, I get rid of that and I add the 4 here instead, making this number 40. Then I say, how many sevens in 40? 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. So there's five. How many are left over? What, 40 take away 35 gives me a remainder of five. So I need to draw another zero. And this remainder goes here. How many sevens in 50 now? And I repeat the process. So 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. So there's seven. This time there's a remainder of one because 50, which I had, take away seven times seven, which was 49, gives me one. So that remainder one goes here. How many sevens in 10? There are one. Now I'm going to stop there because I have got to one, two, three decimal places and you don't really ever need to go further than that because if I was to continue, the numbers would get so small that it really doesn't matter, okay? Most of the time you will be asked to answer, uh, show your answer as two decimal places, sometimes three, but we generally don't need to go further than that. Hope this video was helpful for you today. If you did learn something, then please smash that like button and hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.